In past releases, when we select a piece of complex geometry and we show the layout of that geometry in the properties window, many users found that a bit confusing. Now all the data is here. So for example, this spiral arc spiral that I have in the middle here, I can see that here and I could pick on those and I could see individual bits of that geometry for the spiral or the arcs, but I didn't see the real rule. I'd have to go down to the fillet that equated to that, in this case, the second fillet in the geometry and pick it. And then I could see the fillet rule that was on there. So the radius, how the trimming was happening. In this case, I've got some uh, back and ahead spiral transitions on here. So how those were defined in the links. And this works fine when I have something short and I can kind of compare it and see it. But when you get into long geometry, it was very hard to understand. If I expanded out the fillet, I saw relative information of how the geometry was built, what it's dependent on, but it doesn't really pull together all of the information that as an engineer or a designer I might want to see. So with the 24 release, we've updated that. So here's the exact same geometry in the 24 release, and if I pick that same alignment, we see it presented slightly differently here and a little bit more clearly where I can see my lines and fillets that build this up. So if I pick this second fillet here, I expand it out, I can see immediately that that's made up of a spiral arc spiral. If I looked at the first fillet, I can see it's immediately built up of just an arc. When I pick that fillet, I do see the rule behind it. So I see the rule, the trimming, the back and ahead transitions, for example. Or I could drill into the individual pieces and look at the spiral, maybe look at the geometry on it because I wanted to, to check a sweep angle of that or look at the arc itself and see what the, the angle of that arc is or the tangent length, etc. So it's just a more organized way to present the geometry.